Earth 2? No, just Earth. See, they even got the uh, countries labeled a little bit all over it. What's left of the Baltic Island. Very harsh Earth. Hey guys, welcome to another new day on the Daily Random Vlog. Random Andrew here. First off, I want to address something very important. Very, very important. 300 subscribers. Hooray! Get that three, zero, zero. I guess I just did that backwards for you guys, did I? No, maybe not. Anyhow, 300 subscribers. It's taken a long time. If you look, I think I've had this particular YouTube channel running since 2013. It's now 2018, five years later, Sure, you know, five years into it, and it's not five years daily vlogging. Believe me, I'm no Adam the Woo. That guy, much respect, Adam the Woo. Five years of daily vlogging. I'm approaching, it's either a year and a half or two years. I think I'm over the year and a half, somewhere in between those two points. Not planning on giving up anytime soon, but I tell you, sometimes it can be very, very complicated to come up with uh, a new vlog every single day. It's not an easy thing to do. Some days you have days where there's nothing going on. So there's really not anything to share with the audience. Hence why I do so much of the uh, radio controlled stuff, the RC hobby. Some of you guys might be newer to the channel looking through the older videos and saying, there's a lot of RC stuff on here. Are you sure this is a vlogging channel? Well, yeah, because RCing is something, uh, driving the trucks, driving the tiny trucks is something I do on a regular basis. It's a regular part of my life. So in a daily vlog, yeah, I'm going to have that in there. Now, I've also been thinking, I need to get back to regular vlogging materials. I'll still be doing all kinds of RC stuff. I'll always be doing RC stuff. But what about like regular vlogging materials? Showing you guys some of the things from around town, trying a little bit harder to get to destinations outside of St. Thomas and share some other gems from around the area with you. And maybe as the channel grows up and well beyond 300 subs, I can start being able to do some traveling and show you guys stuff. You know, I'm pondering the whole bus life idea and getting rid of a lot of the stuff that I own. This is just the living room. Like I've got an apartment full of stuff. A lot of it just sits and collects dust anyway. So it's like minimalizing, hit the road and travel for years travel until there's nothing to be seen anymore. I don't know. That is just one one direction, one possible timeline my future holds for me. Another is, uh, I don't know. Well, that's, uh, I don't want to get into the future. Nobody knows what the future really holds. For now though, I do want to get back into doing regular vlogs. If you can't tell, I'm on the, uh, using the Samsung camera today. It's the point and shoot. I don't want to go back to the iPhone. The iPhone, oh, it's it's very frustrating trying to edit that footage. You never know if the shot's in focus, and it's just, it's frustrating. So we're gonna try this for a while and see how well this camera ends up working out. So far, I like it. I mean, it's an easy camera to use to vlog with, and it's just quality ways. Quali it depends on the quality and the editing, but you know no matter what, there's always gonna be something uploaded for you guys. So. I think I have something in mind I'd like to go and film for you guys today. It's just around the corner. I gotta head over to Dollar Tree. I don't even know if Dollar Tree's open today. Uh, today being Saturday, Easter weekend. I'm hoping it is, because I do need a few things. Other than that though, there's just not much happening today. So let's go check out this location. It's kind of, it's not an abandoned thing, and it is kind of private property, so we won't be going in the area, but we're gonna go check it out. So just kind of give you guys an idea of where it is that I am. Here's our little crawling area we were at yesterday. Oh, Craig, you missed two flags. I guess those will be the experimental ones. We'll see if they if they stay or if somebody sneaks them out. But this here, the reason why that bridge is way down there, the reason why there's nothing here, and the reason why there's nothing here is there used to be several sets of tracks. And then this track would literally go all the way to like Buffalo, New York, Niagara. This was like a central hub. Let's see if we can zoom out. 
No, zoom out. Hey, hey, I figured it out, guys. <laughs> when I was first given this camera to use, I couldn't function the zoom for some reason. I, it, just the way it is. Oh, this is horrible. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. Good gloves. I'm going to make a trailer for the summit with a garbage can on it, and we're going to come do a big cleanup here. This is ridiculous. We could complain about how other people don't clean it up, but you know what? We kind of are other people. So right here, this is kind of still on the tracks property. And this, I'm sure, is part of uh, Marion's old property here. Marion's the name of the lady who pretty much grew up in this house and lived here her whole life. I don't know if she's passed yet or not. I hope not. She's a very sweet, kind old lady. She lived there before Talbot Street even ran out front of her house. Park Street was their front street. <laughs> so yeah, it's an old, older style garage, of course. Newer than the house, but old. <laughs> the Backstreet Gang. Oh yeah. They had a little garden or something here. And again, sorry about any wind noise if there is some, guys. It was driving me nuts in yesterday's vlog, all that wind noise. There's nothing I could do about it. It's a, it's a pet peeve. Oh, would you look at this old thing? An old international wagon, is it? Oh, yeah. Couple old vans. And you notice, these vans are still pretty solid, like in one piece. Sure, they're sitting on the ground. The frames are probably rotten. But that old steel lasts a heck of a lot longer than a lot of what you see today. An old Ford Econoline with the rounded headlights in the front of the back. Imagine having one of those, like in great condition on the road. Those are just newer vehicles over there, so we're going to go back this way, trying to shield you guys from the wind. I don't know if that's doing any good. <laughs> it is a windy day, so you guys will just have to bear with me. I'm sorry, but I can't control the wind. Look at that. Oh man. To have unlimited resources and just be able to come put something like that on a flatbed, throw it in the garage and restore it completely would be freaking awesome. If you only could. Like what was this? Look at those fenders on the front. Look at the hood. Not even a hood. And those are just newer vehicles. They used to have older stuff tucked back in this corner, but it looks like they've been cleaning it out. Old El Camino. Look at these little Brit what were these British cars. It's like a Corvair or something right here. Not even. Sure. Was that an MG? I don't know. It was tiny, whatever it was. So kind of back to the old exploring style vlog for today. Showing you guys something new and something different. Here's this again. I don't know. What would you guys say that is? Comment below if you think so you know. Get you a nice shot of the emblem right here. Okay. What was that? Was that a Corvair? Or am I way off? I'm pretty sure that little tiny thing behind it was a Triumph. Maybe even a Spitfire or an MG. Oh, I think I see a name on this. I think I see a name. No, oh, no, no. It's just part of a marker light. Oh. Well, yeah, if you guys think you could figure it out, let me know. I am curious to know what it was. And then, got another old small one. I think is a Carmen Ghia, if I'm not mistaken. Did I say that right? No? I don't think it actually is, but... What would you call that? Oh, yes. The Earth is still here. <laughs> Look at that, eh? car number one say car number one is and if you know what car number two is take a better view of the back end of it yeah 
very awesome. And we'll take a little close look at the Earth too. Earth too? No, just Earth. See, they even got the uh, countries labeled a little bit all over it. What's left of the Baltic Island? Very harsh Earth. All right, so we're gonna continue making my way, our way, because you guys are with me, over to the Dollar Tree. Probably not gonna record all of that, but I just wanted to show you this uh, cut through here. I was saying about the tracks just over here, how they used to be many sets going through. Well, there's another set of tracks. Some of the tracks are still over there. I think I've shown you in previous vlogs, and they used to come right through here, and then kind of round up and join up with the other tracks. So yeah, I, I like being able to find these little back areas, these little hidden spots with something different or something old or classic to see. I don't think there's anything else. Oh so, uh, yeah, yeah, there is one other car with a little bit of a shout out. Camaro in there, old school Camaro. Not old school, semi old school, semi old school. And, oh yeah, there is one more classic here, a nice big old van, and, uh, oh, what would you call that? I know that front end, right there, Let's see if I can zoom on it, because I've got this crud pile in front of me that I'm not too willing to step on. Is that a, uh, not a Studebaker, maybe Hudson? I don't know, I recognize that little point in the front end, though. I definitely do. Some old fenders over there too from the old classics. Ooh. Gotta love it, the exploring days. Exploring days, exploring days. Now, this could very well be actually one of my mom's old cars. It's a Plymouth Grand Fury, and it was what she called her blues mobiles because it does strongly resemble the old Dodge Cop cars. Is that your old car, Mom? <laughs> it's a boat, that's for sure. Is it a Grand Fury? Or am I completely wrong? You can almost see the name on the side of the car right there. No, I don't think so. Cool, and then you have today's modern cars. These would have been so cool if they had made them a rear-wheel drive. But instead they were front-wheel drive. Kind of resembles the 240SX in a way, too. All right, well, I'm going to play in traffic. Not literally. A way for traffic to clear. And then I'm just going over there. For Easter Saturday, look how busy it is, eh? I might not make it across. my one chance to go. Uh -huh, see? That's how it is. Patience pays off. And so seeing how we're out here doing kind of a what used to be here kind of historic thing, you go back like what, 20 years, 25 years? I would be right now walking up to the front of the golf course, golf club that used to be here. And go all the way back past that white building, which is Superstore. There's a fence line even behind that. And this whole thing was a golf course. Younger teenagers are doing things you shouldn't do. Me and one of my best friends at the time, Steve, who is now past departed. We do miss you, buddy. We used to come out here middle of the night on our mountain bikes and terrorize through the golf course, use the golf flags like javelin spears, but we never actually broke anything. It was just something fun to go and do. But yeah, I'm at Dollar Tree now, so I'm heading in and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Well, went and got what I needed to get. Actually, I got way more than I needed to get. Ooh, step out of the wind. And now it's raining. Not heavily, but it started to rain. So I'm gonna go home, hide inside for a bit, work on some projects, but yeah, as usual, 
I'll update you guys. You guys hear that flag? That mighty Canadian flag whipping in that wind. That just should show you how windy it actually is. Okay, back to the home. So it ends up raining out there most of this afternoon. And you know, when it rains, it just kind of becomes laundry day. Yeah, actually, I turned today into laundry day. So at least I got something done. Turned out I don't really have much work of anything to do on my vehicles. Clifford's motor, I have to get a hold of a soldering iron so I can redo the brushes on his motor. Other than that, you know, like I said, it became laundry day. So there's really not much else to say about the day today. But I hope you guys did enjoy that little walk around of the, I guess it would be a car impound. And earth sponge, earth thingy, whatever that was. It's pretty cool. I imagine that was probably an old high school project or something. Somebody's old high school thing and then it just ended up in there. I don't know. Where else could that have come from, right? I hope to be able to do more stuff like that as well as the keeping the RC stuff going. But I would like to bring the, the vlog back to more of a vlog thing. Going to different places around town and then maybe doing the RC, RC videos in separate videos all together. I love my RC stuff. I love working on them and sharing stuff with them about you, but an RC vlog isn't, I don't think, the original direction that I wanted to go. And there's a lot more people on on the channel that are into a lot more than just the RCs, and you never know. So as we try out different things again and shift around a little bit, let me know. I love the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. and. Everybody who came over from the last few days on the Adam the Woo live streams, welcome. Awesome getting to chat with you guys on there. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to chat because the, the chat screen's literally rolling past at a speed like this. Like, you can barely, barely see the salutations or the greetings back and forth from everybody. The live streams myself, I would love to start doing those. And seeing the guy who inspired me to actually do the vlogging, I mean, when I started doing my daily vlog was shortly after, or no, shortly before he quit doing his five year vlogging streak. Like that's a long time. Trust me, I know what it means to try and come up with new content, new material every day. And kudos, Adam did it for five years. Plus he's now doing the Hollywood Boulevard live streams, which I'm sure many of you guys and gals out there would appreciate and enjoy the same way that I do because I don't know that I'll ever get down to Los Angeles. I don't know that I'll ever see California. It's one of my dreams. Even to walk Hollywood Boulevard and see exactly what I've seen in the live streams was different to see it with your own eyes. You know what I mean? So maybe one day you can still dream, dream while it's still free. <laughs> Thanks for watching the vlog today, guys. Uh, hopefully, better day tomorrow. It's supposed to be really nice weather with no rain. We might get out and do an RC exploration. Uh, one of the new guys in our local RC Addicts, Rail City RC Addicts group, has been wanting to go and check out or do an explore of this Fulton's Bridge, which is not too far from here. It's an old steel carves bridge. It's got three or four different roads that intersect off the one end of it, so it's it's a neat looking intersection, plus there's cool things to check out. I actually may have inadvertently showed it on the vlog once before, I don't know. You let me know when we get there. So thanks again for watching guys, please do me a world of favors, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, click like if you enjoyed today's video, and please share the vlog around, let's get it out there. If I do it myself, if I overshare the vlog, I feel like I'm spamming and I hope that maybe the content that I create is good enough that you guys want to help me share the vlog and get more subscribers, build that base up. You know how it goes, I'm sure you've heard a lot of other YouTubers say it before, right? Hey, you gotta think positive if you want to stay positive. It really does go far in keeping a smile on your face. Thanks again for watching guys, we'll see you here tomorrow. Vlog over.